everyone, it's Jen, and today I'm going to show you how to make our 3D angel. The first thing you're going to want to do is stitch out your two sets of wings. So if you're looking here, I have two sets of wings, one larger, one smaller, and we used our freestanding embroidery technique to complete these. Very simple, very easy, uh, and we also used a wash away stabilizer. So once these are all stitched out, you can just wash those right out of your stabilizer and set those aside. Uh, for once you stitch out your angel. So I'm going to take you over here and show you that I have my angel stitched out. Again, we use the freestanding embroidery technique and we also use the wash away stabilizer because we're going to want to wash the stabilizer away from the design once we're finished. We also used a um, uh, Dupioni silk here as the applique. If you are going to be using silk as your applique, you want to make sure that you add that fusible backing on your design because that's going to really help support your stitches in this design. Without it, then you'll notice the design's really going to pull and you're not going to like the look of it uh, when it's com once it's complete. So let me go ahead and show you. Oh, also before, before I move on, when you do freestanding embroidery designs, you want to make sure that you're matching your top thread to your bottom thread or your bobbin, okay? So make sure your bobbin matches that top thread. So I'm using a metallic thread here for my satin outline stitches and for my decorative stitches because someone's going to be able to see the back of that design, you're going to want to match your bobbin to that top thread as well. All right, now I'm ready to show you how we attach our wings. So you see here that I have some marking stitches right here and they're shaped in the point of an arrow. You're just going to take your wings, line that point of your wing up right in the point of the marking stitch on both sides. And if you're someone who is experienced with embroidery, you probably do a lot of hand holding where you hold your fabric down. So you might be okay holding these wings down but it is cutting it really close to that nail or that needle in, in your machine and we never want that to go through our fingers so you may want to tape this down if, if you're someone who's newer to embroidery. So next our wing, wings are tacked into place so you see here that little tacking stitch where our wings are ta attached now and I cannot take them off the design. Next what's going to happen is a decorative satin stitch. Now we've used a dark, a darker thread so that you're able to see what that looks like. You wouldn't want to use a darker thread when you're really running this design. This is just to show you what step is happening next and you would really want to do this in, in that metallic thread as well. And then you're going to repeat those same steps to attach your last set of wings. You'll have that marking stitch, you'll have the tacking stitch, and you'll have that decorative sat satin stitch. So when you lay your next set of wings down, they're gonna go right on top there. And again, be careful if you're using your fingers to hold those in place or use, use some tape. All right, so now we have all of our wings attached. You see here they're not coming off. So this is where I can remove my design from my machine, pop the stabilizer out of the hoop, I like to cut around the design and then wash it away because I don't like all that goofiness that the wash away stabilizer feels like if I wash the whole thing out. So I'm going to cut around here and I'm going to wash away the excess stabilizer. Once that's all done, I'm going to have this great little ornament. I've gone ahead and put some ribbon through that loop at the top and now I'm ready to decorate my tree.